guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of The Sims 3 Part 9? 10? 9? 10? I don't know because let me give you guys a quick little update. So I recorded episode 9 and it failed on me because um, my computer kind of just crashed. Not exactly my computer, it was my game and then my game wouldn't let me go anywhere else. So, technically my computer crashed, but I got it fixed. I, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> um, so, I went through a whole sim day, and, um, oh my goodness, shush. I went through a whole sim day, and, um, <laughs> then it just crashed. So, that was pretty cool, um, pretty fun experience. But, um, so I had a plan for last, last episode. So, my plan is gonna sound a little bit crazy. Um, so later to, or, uh, not tonight, maybe tonight. It depends on everybody's mood. But for Leisure Day, um, either tonight or Leisure Day, I'm going to take them to the summer festival in the city because I want you guys to experience the city in the summer festival if that makes any sense and for leisure day uh, after we go to the summer festival either the next day maybe Sunday yeah possibly Sunday um, we'll go to a lounge slash bar or whatever and um, and, uh, oops, alright, I guess. And we're going to go hang out at a bar, because I don't want to move here until, uh, until, um, we go to a bar and I give you guys the experience of a bar. So, that's gonna happen, but after, and get this, after we go to the bar, we're gonna try for a baby, guys. We're gonna try for a baby, and then, um, soon after that, we will go to our new house in the countryside area. So, who's excited? Me! I'm excited! I'm excited! I'm really excited to get this Let's Play going. I'm really excited to have kids. Like, I'm beyond excited. You guys don't even know. Oh my god! So, that's going to be pretty exciting. And also, the full moon is today, tomorrow, I don't really know. But, um, yeah, that's that's going to happen. Um, and I wanted to check the weather because if I didn't upload last part, then I want to show you guys the weather because the last part's weather was cray cray. So, <laughs> I want to show you guys the weather. Ooh, we could buy a dartboard. Totally. I'm down. We could do all these things. Well, mm -hmm. oh, it's not Thursday yet. <laughs> um, so this is basically what the forecast said, except for there was Tuesday, and apparently last time I checked, Tuesday we're supposed to be getting heavy rain. So, <laughs> or not heavy rain, heavy snow, and it's like, guys, it's like not even it's it's not even fall yet and we're supposed to be getting snow tuesday <gasps> what but i think our little townhouse will look really cute in snow so um what time is it girl you still got a while like two hours i'm just gonna kind of speed up time but i'm trying to keep her energy and um like needs up a little bit so that like Oh wow, he's watching TV from the bed. That's kind of cool. So that later we could go hang, chillax at the bar or summer festival. I guess we could go to the bar and then in the morning go to the summer festival. That sounds like a possibility. That all depends on everybody's mood. Because I want people to be in good moods when we do that. And I'm going to put this in her inventory, because it'll just be easier. And we'll buy that little dartboard thing, because why not?
Where would it be? Oh, wrong thing. Oh, no. Okay. Entertainment. Can't wait to try everything. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Why won't this fit anywhere? <laughs> oh wow, that made everything completely like that changed everything. Wow. I don't know, our apartment is so tiny and it's so upsetting. We'll just put that there. I mean, I don't know if people will be able to fit through that, but okay. <laughs> I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. What? Alright. Got it. Oh my jeez. Um, one day we'll buy a Bone Hilda coffin, but that'll probably be later in our supernatural days, like when we get into that stuff. I also don't know what I'm gonna do about um, the wedding. I don't know. We could have a backyard wedding. Make it all cool and like hip. <laughs> Because our backyard is huge, and by that time, we'll probably have, or at least be pregnant. So, yay. I don't really know what to do. I want her to work hard to try to get her promotion, but... I don't know. Oh, no. Okay, so he's feeling a little bit ill, which kind of sucks, but... What are you supposed to do? Um, I'll probably cut until she, like, gets back and everything. So, um, you know, I'll, I'll see you guys when she gets home from work, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so, Styles woke up not too long ago, but, um, I'm gonna get him to clean the house and all of that fun stuff. And I got this notification, I wanted to read it with you guys. So it says... Cassie was asked to be the candidate's personal assistant for the day when the previous assistant had a terrible accident with the morning's coffee and some stairs. The candidate was impressed with Cassie's performance and has promised to be her mentor. Cassie is inspired to perform better at work. Cool, cool. She's almost home. Um, ooh, look at that. Her mood boosted so quickly. But, um... I'm gonna slow this down a little bit, and when she gets home, she's gonna have a quick meal, and he's gonna use the bathroom, right, right, and she is kind of tired, but we're still gonna go on this date, <laughs> um, just because, why not? So, originally, I wanted to go to the summer festival, and then the bar, but the bars, like, I don't know, it's weird. Um, the summer festival closes at 6. So we'll go to the summer festival tomorrow. And we'll just do a little switcheroo thingy. And the Forbidden Full Moon begins. So we may even see some supernatural things. Actually, no. Come here. And ask out on a date. And we'll go eat somewhere else. Like, we'll eat at the bar. The bars stay open until, like, from 2 to 2 usually is what I saw. So, I'm guessing, like, uh, I don't even know. Play on. Alright. Oh, Come on. Where are ya? A little bit. Ew, look at all these newspapers. Girl! Ask him on a date. Okay, so I did want to show you guys the full moon because I probably won't up upload the last part because I think that it is a waste of time. But I will show you guys the full moon because it is 
bright and beautiful as you can see it is very bright oh my god all right she is upstairs now all right just a little bit faster and i'll be okay <laughs> Her energy is just slowly going down. It's pretty interesting to watch. Okay, come on, ask him. You're fixing to be like extremely tired, girl. Come on. She is angering me. <laughs> like I'm fixing to be like, nah, let's just, let's cancel. <laughs> And we'll do it tomorrow or something. But then again, they'll probably be t tired tomorrow as well. I should probably get them a new bed. Like, how much energy does this give them? Four energy. Ooh, that one's kind of nice. This one gives them five, though. What if we got this one? I think I'm gonna just get them this one. Because they do kind of complain about their back and all and um, stuff a lot, so. Um, I think that they deserve a new bed. And that's a really cute bed, so. I hate how her energy is so low though. Alright, so if they're going to be on a date, let's go here. Oh, there's a prosper room. Okay, we'll just go here. I honestly, it's bothering me how low her energy is. I said in the last part that I might just like cheat to get their energy up. I think I know the cheat for that. I mean... I think I know how to do it. Oh yeah. We're just gonna cheat a little bit, guys. Don't worry. It's only on their energy. I promise. Okay. But we're gonna do this, and then I'll end the part, of course. I wish that they had a windowed full screen or something like that in The Sims 3, but of course they don't. That would be so much easier to record with, just because, um, uh, doing it like this is kind of annoying sometimes. Whoa. What? This is so weird. Uh, ask to get in? I guess? <laughs> I don't know, I kind of forgot about all this. So. <laughs> Following the leader. Um, she already knew what she was gonna order and everything. Come on, where are you? Oh, she's going in the elevator. All right. What is this? Meet, I don't know who that is. Have a drink, go to a dance club, you won't do that. Don't go home. She's so hungry. She's not gonna let us in. We'll do a high bribe, okay? I'm so scared that we're not gonna be able to buy our house when we wanna buy our house. We will be so 
screwed if we get pregnant and then decide to buy the house? Should we just wait to get pregnant? I don't want to, though, because then it'd be... Um, then it'd be, um, 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 um. Alright, okay. The, uh, then it'd be a challenge. That's right. Oh my god, that's way too much. No, never mind. Single serving shrimp cocktail. Um, because she's extremely hungry. He's pretty hungry, but, um, I don't know. Why is this place so expensive? Why did we come here? Because this is, like, the worst place to come. Friendly chat. So this is the bar. Well, one of them. I, hmm. I hate to kind of just like, look at these though. These are cool chairs. This is a cool little area. That's like a place that me and my friends would like race to because we don't want anybody else to get there. <laughs> I'm sure that one day we'll live not exactly in the city, but in, I think Showtime has a place, pretty sure. And we'll go there, we'll live there. If they don't, we'll go back to Sunset Valley or something. But, um, yeah. Um, and we'll experience the city a little bit more. Probably in, like, the third generation of our kids. Because the second generation already have a plan. Which is college and, um, and Isla Paradiso. So, where are you? boy what are you doing i don't like this place honestly to be honest i'm so ready to move and have kids and yeah oh there we go purchase property let's not I just want you to get the reward points. Like, what are you doing? Stop. It's angering me. Am I going to get my food? Oh, did I already get my food? There's this upstairs. I don't know. That's the boys, I guess. Because it has a pee-pee hole. Guys, I don't know what to do. I'm like, I hate when I'm not in the mood to record because I know that I need to record this, but I don't want to because I'm having so much fun with like my runaway and I have other things to record and like, ah, uh, it's so bothersome. You know what? Let's just go home. This is obviously not successful. There's, like, way too many people here. I think that it's closed because it's 2 o'clock and everybody left. So we'll just go home and end the date and have a woohoo or something. And I miss our cat. Our cat is sad and lonely and hungry. Like, just for them leaving, I would let her um, scratch the couch. <laughs> but... <laughs> I don't want to ruin our couch. <laughs> I'll end the part in a second, though. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> Need a vampire? Maybe one day, pal. Sneak past a bouncer? <sighs> Sounds bad. Come on! Why does it take you so long? My sims are stressing me out. Oh, no. I'm, like, not in the mood to be playing around with y'all stuff. Like, leave. It's not that hard. My cat's gonna get taken away from me if I don't give him any attention. Her. It thing. You know what would have been smart? If I named my cat after my girl cat. 
Can we do that? They want to host a pool party so bad, but we don't have a pool yet. Pair change name. We're going to name this cat. That's my girl cat's name, by the way. Mop Teat. I don't know if I spelled the teat right, but oh well. <laughs> Come here, use the bathroom go to bed we are still on a date but who cares now use the bathroom have a quick meal go to bed <laughs> oh look there they are <gasps> it's six o'clock in the morning <laughs> oh no we shouldn't have stayed out all night honestly because now we have to go to the summer festival in the next part and have a child <sighs> oh my Wish me luck, guys. Wish me luck. And then he has work tomorrow and Saturday. Oh, and today is also the last day of summer, so. Ooh, oh, oh. I'm stuck. Girl. Go pee pee. Move into a penthouse. Maybe one day. I don't think so. I think the house that we're going to be using is going to be our house for a while. Probably until they die. And maybe even at the end of the series. Be sniffed. Why? We'll give her a little affection. Um, let's sniff hand. Talk to. Pet. Feed treats. I think our cat ages up like tomorrow too two days close enough he treat I don't know if I already said that I want our cat to like us but I don't think that's going out so well so the um, <sighs> summer festival opens soon and I don't know what to do guys I'm scared. No, the only thing I'm scared for. Sorry if you hear my dog barking in the background. The only thing I'm scared for is if their needs aren't up. That's why I haven't exactly gotten into fast mode. Because I don't want like their needs to be all crazy <laughs> when we decide to go to the summer festival. Otherwise, I'll cheat. Because I don't really care about cheating for uh, needs. Just because, I mean, their needs. I mean, eh. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, ah, uh, I don't know. Do you guys think it's cheating? I don't know. If you guys think it's cheating, I won't, but I want them to experience fun, I guess you could say. But, um, they'll be going to bed, they'll wake up in the morning, and go to that summer festival and have a blast. Girlfriend. Oh my god, is it because of the cat? Come here, kitty. Alright, so I gotta keep an eye out on the time because the summer festival closes at 6. So, I will end this part here. And, um, speed through just a little bit until they are decently ready. Um, I'll probably wake them up around 12. But I hope you guys enjoyed this part. I will see you guys in the next part. We will be going to the summer festival and having a little child, possibly. I don't know. You tell me. See you in a few weeks next time on Sims 3. Okay. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this part, and I will see you guys next Friday.